Of course, one of the first that we think of is fire and smoke. These two events, together or separately, can cause lots of problems, especially with information systems. And the fire or the smoke doesn't have to actually occur on your facility site. It's very possible that a fire could occur close by. Perhaps you're close to a wildfire and the smoke has infiltrated your HVAC system and it's gotten into your facility. When it gets into your facility, of course, it's going to make everything smell bad, but it could also have a detrimental effect on the way your entire facility operates. So you have to be careful not only to ensure that you don't have fire damage or any fire events within your facility, but also be aware that some of the damage may come from outside. So fire and smoke can be man-made, it can be your facility catching on fire, or in certain parts of the country or certain parts of the world, you may be susceptible to a fire, a wildfire that actually comes upon you and is not actually started at your location. Well, typically, if there's going to be a fire event anywhere close to your location, there's a very good chance that you will also suffer water damage. Now, water damage from a fire or from firefighting efforts is only one piece of the puzzle. We could also have water damage from floods. In fact, floods are, it seems to be more and more common. You see on the news every year where different areas are susceptible to floods. You need to make sure that you understand your danger or your risk for flooding. Also, what type of fire suppression equipment do you have? We'll be talking about those throughout this entire session as far as how we control and how we mitigate different risks. But this is a particular threat of water damage from many different areas. So water can cause havoc with information systems. Be aware of where your water may come from. It might come out of the ceiling if you have a fire suppression mechanism that dumps water on a fire. Not a good thing to have in a data center, but your client machines may have to suffer that. 